What you guys got another IP camera for review? This one is uh, sent over by Globe Mall A Box, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at how we can set this up and uh, see what it looks like uh, once we get it all set up there. Now, also, this is a night vision and also day uh, time camera, internal, obviously, not non external, and it does have a pan of 345 degrees and a tilt of 90 degrees on this one. It's remote internet viewable, so it means you can remote in via your mobile phone and watch the feed and stuff like that. And it does take a micro SD card of up to 64 gigabytes. Works on iPhone, Android, tablet, PC, and all that sort of good stuff. So the easy setup part is pretty straightforward. You just connect here. It's got instructions on the side, and then you can just download the software by using your phone and QR scanner and it will download that software for you and that's pretty much it you're pretty much ready to go so it is just scan this here and you can see how quick and easy that is it takes you straight to the site and you can open the link and then install that software and get it installed on your system it is a peer-to-peer -peer live cam software as you can see there or p2p live cam that's what it means peer-to-peer -peer. And uh, basically, it's not the best software in the world from what I have used of it. It's a, a little bit clunky, but we'll take a little bit a look at that a little bit more later on. So let's take a look inside the box. As you can see here, we have the quick start guide. This has English writing, also color pictures, and it's very easy to understand and set up one of these cameras. They're not as difficult as you may well think. So we're gonna have a look what else we've got in the box here. We've also got a power lead. This is to power your uh, camera. You can see nice thick cable and also it's a free pin plug on this one. If you are in another country like Europe or across the pond, then you'll probably end up getting a two pin plug for where you live there inside your box. But pretty much that's all you're gonna to need to power the device. Now also uh, you're gonna end up getting yourself a little CD here with some uh, information and drivers on here. Not sure anyone uses those anymore. Also a bracket uh, and this is a wall mounting bracket here. A uh, little screw on the side there which just fell off as you can see and you can screw this to the wall it does come with a couple of screws and raw plugs and basically you can wall mount this if you want to it's not the biggest uh, strongest bracket in the world but it will suffice and do the job and uh, you also uh, got yourself a little ethernet cable in there as well and there's some screws and some raw plugs and also we got a little reset tool inside here as well which always is nice to have if you need to reset your device. So let's get the camera out of the box and take a look. Now, as you can see here, there is a big area on the back and that is because it's Wi-Fi, and also it's capable of having ethernet on there, which is wired. Now, again, this does look a little bit like Darth Vader from the side, as you can see, it's piano black finish and there is a speaker here. Now this speaker is a two way speaker, which means you can communicate uh, through the camera itself or through the uh, application so you can talk uh, through there as well which is useful now that's great if you're uh, using this as a, a pet or a baby monitor or someone to monitor the elderly or security monitor it comes in really handy to have that two-way speaker now you can see the antenna here this is for the Wi-Fi also DC input which is for your power and uh, also have a micro SD card here which takes up to 64 gigabytes we have that Ethernet port there with some LED lights on there to indicate that it's working correctly. And also we have an audio port on there as well. Now the Wi-Fi antenna only accepts 2.4 gigahertz only, no 5 gigahertz here. Also on the bottom we have that uh, ventilation holes, a reset button, anti-slip rubber pads, that mounting bracket uh, port there, and also the QR code for your camera, which will have the information about the camera and the password on there. On the front we have the A box logo and we also have the uh, lens there and also the sensor and uh, infrared light there as well. Now also this is as we've said 345 degrees uh, panning and 90 degrees tilt on here and all in all it's a nice looking camera it's got some weight to it there and again it does look a little bit like Darth Vader uh, from the side I do like the look of it and uh, it's, it's only in black I think I don't think they do any other colors. Uh, but let's get some power to this uh, actual camera here and see if we can get it working. Now I'll show you both ways to do this, Wi-Fi and, and wired, and uh, you'll be able to understand how easy it is. Now these are great for home security on the cheap. If you want to get yourself some home security, then these are great. Now obviously they are internal cameras, so they're not for outside, external, but you could point it through a window or in a conservatory pointing out if you wanted to or something like that. 
But again, just open up the app once we've got some power to it here and choose what you want to connect to. Now we're going to connect to Wi-Fi here. And you can see straight away it's asking us to put the power on the uh, actual camera. And then once we've done that, we can go into the settings of the phone and you should see the actual Wi-Fi detecting uh, the uh, camera there itself. So let's go into the settings of the phone here and then go into Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to go into settings and then we're going to click on Wi-Fi here up the top. There it is. And now we can see that code right across there, which is the camera. So it is detecting it, as you can see. And once you click on that and connect to it, it will ask you to do the QR scan on the bottom of the camera. And what this is going to do is then uh, notice the camera on the system and you allow you to change the password and then connect to the Wi-Fi. So there we go. It's already detected that there. It's got the UID. And now we can click on Next. And you should now see the SSID for your router. And you can see it only says 2.4 gigahertz only on the router. So make sure you connect into that one. And then put the password in for your Wi-Fi network. And you should be able to connect straight to that um, camera via the Wi-Fi. So let's take a look on how to do this with the Ethernet. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to put some power to the camera and then plug in an Ethernet cable. Now I've got one lying around, but it does come with that blue Ethernet cable if you want to use that. You can now see the camera starting to rotate and do its thing. That's just because it's waiting for me to uh, set it up. And the Ethernet is very easy to set up and uh, it's much better to use Ethernet than it is Wi-Fi. Now you could remove that aerial on the back if you wasn't going to use Wi-Fi if you wanted to. And then what we need to do is go into the application once you've downloaded it and click on the add new online device. And you can see the name of that is called cam and you can change that if you wish. The UID and the password is there. So we need to do now is click on a QR scan. Comes with its own pre-built uh, software in there. So now we just lift the bottom of the camera up and scan that QR code on the bottom and that will notice the camera and then now you can see the UID uh, number has been put in there and the password Now we click OK here and it's now starting to obtain an IP and give you access to that camera now what you want to do here now is click on that and change the password to that okay because this is the default password which is not safe and uh, you can change all the information by clicking on that and I'll quickly just show you once I click on here so as soon as you click on it it will ask you to change definitely change that because that will be a secure security breach and you don't want to do that so just put in your new password and you should be pretty much good to go from there with the ethernet okay so going through some of the settings of the camera the software isn't the best to be honest uh, we have up the top starting up the top we have some brightness levels we can change we also have the night and, uh, light and dark uh, settings we can change here we have a bulb feature there I'm not sure what that is uh, GPU uh, settings on there as well uh, this is your save settings so if you want to save your presets you can save them via their S feature there and then you've got the go which puts the preset to that location if you want to do that as well now we also have audio on and off we can uh, activate this by just touching it the microphone as well uh, we can take snapshots as well here taking a snapshot and saved as you can see record and then record and save and this will go to a 64 gig card and also you can save it to the phone as well we can navigate the, ca uh, the camera around here and basically we're going to come back out here and go into the settings of the phone now the settings of the phone has some other settings that you might want to look at here as you can see turn on alarm modify the device also uh, delete device which means delete the actual setup reconnect and device settings if you go into here you'll have a bunch of settings that you can uh, configure and these are pretty straightforward and easy to do you've got the alarm configuration as you can see here we can set this up so the alarm would go off and start to uh, send us notifications to our phone and alarm schedule and stuff like that alarm tone you can set all this up uh, via this little app again Wi-Fi config SD card uh, record config uh, PTZ config also 
infrared LED config on there as well, time settings, miscellaneous settings and also change your peer-to-peer -peer access password on there and also uh, device reboot in case you want to reboot your device. So these are the settings via the application. Now if you take a look at the bottom there you will see live video, that's your live video feed. Also snapshot, these are all your snapshots that you've taken and it's been sent to your SD card and your phone and you can see the record and this is all your recordings as well and these are all stored on here and you have the alarms and these are alarms that have been sent to your phone. But basically that's uh, how you can set that up, pretty straightforward. Now the software again isn't the best as far as I'm concerned, it's okay, it does a, an okay job um, but it is a little bit, as I said, a little bit clunky. Uh, you can do two-way uh, communication via the uh, camera as well, but the feed is pretty good, the quality is pretty good. You can zoom in here as well if you wanted to, like so. Again, I don't want to touch it too much because it is a bit of a mare to get it straight and set up. You can set those presets, but all in all, it's not too bad. And that's basically it for the review. That is the uh, wireless IP camera from Abox. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, then guys, give this a thumbs up. It really does help. And also, I shall see you again for another video shortly. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.